Yeah. Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Kristen Stephenson Pino and Achar Cook. Hello. We're going to look at Ouch, starring Manoj Bajpayee and Pooja Chopra. This comes from Royal Stag Barrel Select Large Short Films. Just to give you guys some feeling context, it's 39,000 upvotes, 3.9 thousand downvotes. So it's by and large loved. It's like maybe 8% downvotes, so that's pretty good. It's directed by Niraj Pandey as well. If I remember correctly, did he direct something really cool like Baby or something like that? I didn't see Baby, I so. I don't know, I haven't seen it, but his name is super familiar ah. as an awesome director. Very exciting logo. <laughs> I like all the. A lot of apps. I thought it said Frida at first. Oh. oh, that's the name of the movie. Okay. Oh. Someone gonna die in this. Someone's gonna get their it. heart crushed. I called it. Someone dies. Well, someone's gonna get heartbroken. I think is what happens. <laughs> A bit like Charlie Sheen. Yes, but less less HIV though. <laughs> and by less, I mean none. <laughs> no red M and M's. Skittles. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey, lady. Heartbreaker. <laughs> oh no, is she crying? It's often how I look when I walk around. <laughs> what is up with that couch? It's broken. Too much fun times at the hotel. I like how that pillow didn't move whatsoever. <laughs> He's got a band aid. Yeah. See, she's crying. Interesting choice of music, by the way. <laughs> what happened? She's tall. Huh? She lost at everything, don't mind her. Sorry. I think it's like the music in the suspense. What's wrong? Chai, a coffee? Pani. Hop to it. <laughs> you don't think that's funny? No, I, I, I feel like there's so much tension going on here. There is a lot of tension, but I feel like it, with the music and everything. Yeah, I feel like you in the same situation would be laughing. I think that's why you're laughing. Because you can't keep a straight face. True, true. She just broke up with somebody. To be with him. Can't you lose it? Mm, they, were supposed to, they were both supposed to break up with someone. Oh, he didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's why he's got a band-aid. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God.
आज दिन क्या है मकर संक्रांति है और इस आज 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 This music. You want to relax and say. Why are you both laughing? It's just like it's like do you get this idea that like oh you're upset? Let me just sex you better. Like no. My husband is capable. Akish. Akish is capable. I love you. I love you too. Oh no, she she's didn't. avoiding she, it. She didn't go through with it. No. Oh, Rakeshna kya wala? That's why she really love you, Vinay. Oh no. तुमने बताया ना राकेश को? Uh oh. Oh, you didn't. Oh, oh man. You didn't keep your word. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the fuck is this, Priya? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Definitely not going to the bedroom now. Is that what I said? That I will tell my wife and you, my husband, to tell us about everything about us. Everything. We were going to divorce them. Sorry. What does that mean? I've told you everything about Anjali. You should know that. You're going to give me a drink. बोला अगले हफ्ते क्यों अभी नहीं क्यों सब कुछ सेटल करके आ रहा हूँ गुस्सा नहीं कर रहा हूँ यार समझने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ कि तुम मैं हम हमारे 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 बीच में है ना कुछ स्पेशल ये तो बातचीत लाइफ में और है क्या सुबह उठो ऑफिस जाओ ड्यूटी खत्म घर आओ फैमिली दोस्त ऑफिस कुलीक जीवन में सबके लिए कर ली नजीमदारी पू <laughs> yeah, the music's kind of awful, but like the story, I like, I like, the, I like the story. And I need to tell you something. Yeah, I know. He's it. But you should talk to Rakesh about it. What the fuck is this here? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh. 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 तुम सोचने से मना किया था ना? तुम जब-जब सोचती This won't be right. ये 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 तुम अब बोल रही हो? All compass activate हो गया? नहीं, थक गई हूँ बहन जो खुद से झूठ बोल बोल के। I love you when I the music. Oh my God. इस तरह योगी इस रिश्ते की Music is bad. तुम्हारे साथ होती हो ना, सब भूल जाती हूँ। ऐसा लगता है जैसे तुम कोई compensation हो। मेरी life में हर तकलीफ की, हर कमी की। You're like a dream, Vinay. Like a fucking impossible dream. प्रिया यार तुम थोड़ा यार मैंने Fuck. And now she has called up my mother also. Baby, sorry, Boldo. No, what is wrong with you? Crazy lady. Oh my god. No wonder. Mommy Jane calling. Mommy Jane calling. Mommy. How are you pronouncing? नहीं अब अभी भी मीटिंग में ही हूँ हाँ नहीं मैं करता हूँ ना 
I would never talk to her again. I, I would never speak to that woman again. I, I would be so mad. Uh, yeah. Stop touching his face. <laughs> Just like... Just making it harder. What? See, he should have said it first. I'll find myself another job. Oh. She's a but we'll be friends. Or something. Okay? We'll be friends. Uh, yeah, good luck oh. with that. How about no? Damn. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Vacation ke liye suitcase kareedne gayi thi. Offer chal raha tha. Ek bag free. To tumhare liye bile aayi. Oh my god, what a see you next Tuesday. Savage. Yeah, so savage. So savage. I love you too. I'm surprised he isn't throwing yeah. things. <sighs> I'd be so mad. What is up with that chair? I think it's just symbolizing that nothing's right in this world right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm Okay, take a promise. Promise, sweetheart. Baby, Mommy Jean calling. Baby, I'm calling. 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 Mommy? You're in trouble, man. He's sitting on the couch for a year if he gets back with his wife. <laughs> that was a really random short film. I liked it. No, I liked I the liked story. It. I wasn't sure what they were trying to do with the music there. The music made it seem like they were kind of going for more of a comedic tone. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting the joke if there's a joke. For me, it just felt like the wrong choice as far as the music's concerned. Now, don't think this is the wrong way, large short films, but that music sounded like porn music. It sounded like jokey music, right? I'm just being real with you guys, but like the story itself and the dialogue and the way that kind of played out was actually really interesting. Yeah. If you just took the music out of that, that would be so much more effective and powerful. You have no idea what's going on with these two. You don't know why she's crying. You don't know what's his issue with the couch, why he's uncomfortable, what he's dealing with. And you find out as the story unfolds, it's actually really compelling stuff. You think these two are supposed to end up together and then you find out she, you know, got cold feet. That's actually very real and yeah. and very um, impactful. I feel like a lot of us have been there in not such serious situations necessarily, but a lot of us have gone through something like that. I like how the actors played it out. It felt very real. I appreciated their performances quite a bit. The writing was good enough that I hated her. <laughs> so, yeah. as a character. Yeah, she did her part. I like the acting, I like the directing. I liked the storyline. I felt really bad for the guy. I was like, oh. I was like, I wanna like, Say something to her. Exactly. <laughs> I, I wanted him to like do something other than just sit there and go. Yeah. Yeah. 
Totally. Like, I we feel- We get it, but- He was a gentleman about it. I would have liked to see him struggle with those feelings more. He was. No, but like, more. I want more. <laughs> like, no, I mean, he was, he was. He kept it really under wraps, but like, I don't know. I just feel like, wouldn't you be way more upset? And why was he sitting so close to her he the whole time? You know, like, wouldn't you take, take a minute to be like, <gasps> What just happened? Yes. Can I just take a walk for a second and just process what you've just told me? Because this is a lot. I know? think that's what really would have happened. But yeah. what I liked about this, which is contrary to what you will generally see in films, is that it was very contained. His emotions were very contained. You could see a lot going on in his eyes and his expression. His acting performance was actually really good because yeah. all the things you said was there in his face. He's like, how can... What can I... There's nothing I can do. I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He tried and he tried to salvage it and it just wasn't working and he was so upset. It would be in the hands of another director like, ah, and he's losing his mind and throwing shit upside down. I mean, I said that when I was watching it, but I totally see how he was containing it and stuff. I just wish that there could have been a moment when the elevator door to his feelings kind of opened up a little bit more and you were like, huh, I caught that flash of rage and then it was suppressed yeah. again. Just a little. He tried to like salvage it because he was like, he was like a, a man alone on an island for a second. He's like, okay, well maybe I can get the old shit back. And he's trying to like, like, like work oh. it out with his <laughs> ex-wife and it, it's like, no, that's not gonna. He got the karma. Yeah. yeah. I was watching it and I felt so bad for him. Like, oh, this, this. Yeah. Nasty woman. But you think about what the circumstances are for the characters not on screen. Yeah. And he kind of got what he deserved. Yes, that's true. But just in terms of these two characters, because they're the characters we're following, I thought what she did was so messed up. You made an agreement. Like yeah. you were supposed to go together and then you didn't follow through. You didn't keep your word. And that's kind of how life is. No, what I really liked about this is for being a short film, they did really well with just having two actors, but then having four characters, which I thought was really smart. Yeah. Because you had the two actors that we see and then we have the mom and the wife and also the husband who's not there oh yeah and the husband but yeah. like he doesn't really call or anything like that he's still but, a character but i thought like that was really cool because it makes like a really well-rounded story, story yeah. while keeping it really contained especially in the location and stuff as well yeah. so i always like really like that with short films because then it makes me kind of go oh well there, there's so many possibilities as a filmmaker if you are just trying to make one short film you can make a compelling story like this with few actors in one location mm -hmm. i like this how simple it was. Yeah. It was, yeah. Very, it was very simple. There was the twist where it made it really complicated, but it was still so clean. I didn't see that twist coming from the beginning. When she came out with, oh, I didn't do it. We were all just like, oh, no, you didn't. Right. I think with this short film, it's interesting because that came actually relatively early yeah. in the plot of the story. And so most of it was just this brutal, savage punishment. That's what the movie felt like. It was, a, it was a story about this guy getting his comeuppance for cheating on his wife. And that's a fine story. It's just like, well, that's your main character, and so he's like the anti-hero. And I didn't realize that going into it, right? And so, I mean, that's, which is totally fine. It would have been cool if that came later in the story. Maybe she kept up the lie yeah, for a little mm -hmm. bit. And, a little bit more, yeah. And then revealed, well, actually, yeah. I didn't say shit. It just felt horrible. Like, he's just punished for a while. I'm like, oh, this is too real. Yeah. <laughs> But on the plus side, on a positive note, even though he's trying to get back with his wife, mm -hmm. I think for him this is a moment where he's finally going to be able to live in honesty and not, not live a life that's a lie. So that's good, or but it's going to hurt. Or he's just alone. And at least he's, he's true to himself, right? And he's not with a wife that he doesn't love. Right. People don't want to be alone. <laughs> so basically, live the lie. <laughs> what is the moral of this story? Is the moral to lie to your wife until you find out that your woman on the side has told the truth? Or is uh -huh. the moral don't cheat? Like what? I'm not sure what the moral of the story is. Maybe there is no moral, but I'm just trying to find one if there is one. Same time, same time. <laughs> same time. We do it at the same time. Uh, Everyone okay. in the room at the same time. Oh, That's shoot. what we do. That's oh, how we shoot. do this. Let me, let me think about this. What's the moral oh, of the story? Moral of the story. Um, okay, hold on. Um, it's going nowhere. It's gonna <laughs> okay. drive way through this. Wait, wait. Moral of the story. Okay, go. Wait, one, two, three. You screwed. Lie. <laughs> you screwed? That's not a moral. <laughs> I know. That's not a moral. No matter what, you're screwed.
Richard. The moral of the story is you're, you're a big fat hoe. Okay, you karma lie. Karma yes. exists. Yeah. Karma's a thing. I agree with what you said, actually. Lie. I don't know, guys. I you guys, know. you let us know in the comments below what you think the moral of the story is. Thank you so much to Large Short Films for allowing us to react to this. You guys are awesome. You make great stuff. Please make sure to follow Kristen Stephenson Pino on the social media. Uh, Achara Kirk is on the internet as well. And she has a photo with Kristen where they're smiling. <laughs> That's just unusual because no one does that. 